Questions 87 to 91 in the Acer Green Paper. Question 87. Of the following, the element that most directly triggers a swing um, to stance switch is the... So if we look at figure 1 and uh, take a look at that, that hair receptor box, well, just before the hair receptors, um, swing has occurred. So swing will upregulate slash excite the hair receptors. Now, leading from hair receptors is the pathway R, which splits into Q and U. Now, um, pathway Q looks like it's inhibiting the flexor burst generator. Um, and the flexor burst generator, from what it seems, it uh, upregulates those flexors and therefore um, creates flexion. So, um, hair receptors will, through the pathway Q, inhibit flex uh, the flexor burst generator and therefore inhibit flexion. Through the pathway U, hair receptors uh, seem to be exciting the extensors, and the extensors are responsible for extension. So um, overall, the hair receptors are responsible for um, inhibiting flex, uh, flexion and upregulating extension. So therefore, the element that is most directly going to trigger a switch from swing to stance is the hair receptor. Question 88. When the central command neurons are stimulating the flexor burst generator during the swing phase and impulses travel past point S, which of the following would be active? The nerve slash pathway marked at so from the flexor burst generator um, leads the pathway S. So S splits into pathways T and V. So therefore the pathways that are going to be active are T and V and therefore C is the correct answer for question 88. Question 89. Of the following situations, nerve impulses pass point S at the most frequent rate. So nerve pulse impulses are going to be passing point S when the flexor burst generator is active. So let's look at and try and find which one of these answers has uh, will stimulate the flexor burst generator. So uh, firstly, A, when impulses from the cuticle stress receptor are most frequent. So through pathway Y, we can see that the cuticle stress receptor actually inhibits the flexor burst generator. So that's not what we're really looking for. Uh, let's go on to B then when impulses from the hair receptors are most frequent. So the hair receptors, again, through um, pathway Q, will work to inhibit the flexor burst generator. So therefore, that's not what we're looking for. Um, C, in the middle of the stance phase. Well, if we look at uh, the stance uh, part, well, so extension slash stance will uh, upregulate the cuticle stress receptor um, and therefore will inhibit the flexor burst generator. So that is not the correct answer. C, uh, the stance phase will actually inhibit the flexor burst generator. And finally, D, the only remaining answer in the middle of the swing phase. Well, the, if you're in the middle of the swing phase, you're going to be wanting to activate flexion slash swing. So therefore, um, we want our flexor burst generator to be quite active so D is the correct answer for question 89. 90, if the nerve slash pathways were cut through at point W, extension could. So we've got to figure out whether extension could still be initiated slash terminated if we cut point W. Now point W is a, a, a excitation pathway for the extensors and it comes directly from the central command neurons. So if we cut that, essentially we cannot initiate extension via the central command. However, we can still initiate extension via pathway U, and that comes from the hair receptors, which um, are activated when flexion comes to an end slash um, is activated. So basically, we can still initiate um, extension, and however, it won't be via the central command neurons. It will just be via the only via the hair receptors. As for whether extension could be terminated, well, to terminate um, extension, we need to initiate flexion, and as far as we're concerned, that is not affected by cutting uh, point W. 
the via point P and the flexiburst generator, we can still initiate flexion. So therefore, extension can be initiated and terminated still, even if we cut point W. So therefore, C is the correct answer. Question 91. The load is removed from the leg at the end of the sans phase. Of the following, the most immediate increase in the rate at which impulses travel past the point occurs at... So as according to the stem, when we remove a load from the leg at the end of the stance phase, we're going to reduce the amount of activation of the cuticle stress receptors. And that's because the cuticle stress receptors are active when there's a significant load on the leg, such as when it occurs when the leg is pushing on the ground. And that's just a line taken from the second paragraph in the stem. So if the cuticle stress receptors aren't firing as quickly, therefore pathways X and Y are going to be reduced in rate, so therefore we can immediately rule out answers A and B. Um, going from there, we're going to, um, because we're reducing the rate of firing of Y, we're going to increase the rate of firing of the flexor burst generator because the cuticular stress receptors usually inhibit that flexor burst generator. And since the flexor burst generator is now active, we're going to get an increase in the amount of impulses traveling through pathway V. So V is um, the most immediate pathway, which will uh, increase in rate. Uh, U will also increase in rate, but it requires a much longer path. So if once the flexor burst generator goes up, then the uh, impulses traveling through T goes up, then the flexion increases, then the um, impulses through the hair receptors increase, and then, then finally you will increase. So it's not the most immediate path, V is the most immediate, therefore D is the correct answer for question 91.